Uh, ah! Oh my god. Uh, I haven't uploaded a video in like... Months, I think. I don't know. But, uh... I've been... Um... Playing an unhealthy amount of, uh, Fortnite Creative lately. Because I've been updating my creative game. Which has a, a bit of, a A stupid name. I, I call it a Rex Royale because, uh... It's a, it's a battle royale, okay? But when I see battle royales, I see everybody doing it wrong, all right? So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you how to actually make a battle royale. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to terrain. I'm gonna teach you uh, how to make a storm. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna edit it all fancy, but everyone's been just like uh, doing stupid stuff with their, with their mini battle royales. And I just... I don't I don't know man it's just it's not right. <laughs> I've been uh I've been making these since uh Creative came out. I made one I'm I've made um this map and I've been updating it ever since. Um there wasn't even a storm in the game. Uh I made um I made a custom storm with sequencers. So trust me, all right? I know what I'm doing. I don't have a code. You can't play this map. Um that's the <laughs> It's the wrong map. That's a that's a test map. Um, I literally just updated this, like I said. So uh, if if any of my friends are watching that haven't played and uh, don't want spoilers, not not that it matters. It's a stupid Fortnite creative game, but like, I don't know, man. We we kind of play this a lot, so I don't know how people are feeling nowadays. It's your fault. But um, yeah, as you can tell, um. I may or may not know what I'm doing. I don't know. I mean, this is this is kind of a small map. It doesn't really take up a, a lot of memory at all. Um, I definitely didn't waste like 10 hours in the past like week working on it. Um, you know, it's a small map, so uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna um, show you how to make one because it's it's so easy. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to. You know, maybe not make this, this a thing, but, uh, I'm gonna show you basically the, the tricks I use to make, to make a map. But we're gonna go here, this is like a test map I did, I, it's kind of a concept, I'm actually gonna, might consider uh, making that a, a real thing. Well, let's start off with spawn points, because I think it's a, something every single map gets wrong. You, you want like people to land every every spot okay so what i like to do is i like to make um what's like the here i like to take these things over here and uh you just you you, you set them up here you take um indestructible the indestructible gallery so just go here in destructible gallery you take I don't know like this thing right here take here now you can't you can't break it um, you put a spawn point on here so you get a player spawn like that and then you take another one of these and then you place a a launch pad Like that. And then to finally finish it off, you want an explosive device under here. Don't put drops on. That was that was actually stupid on my part. Yeah, but you wanna you wanna put an explosive device under that. Uh, you wanna go here. You wanna click all options and you're gonna wanna indestructible. You want blast radius, uh, to at least make it explode the platform. You want player damage, um, elimination, and you want damage indestructible building. What is happening? You want this to set to yes. Uh, whatever knockback, and then you want detonation from game start. You can set this to whatever you want, just don't make it like a minute. That's a little ridiculous. Set this to like 10 seconds or 15. I think 15 is good, but I think I had it on my other map to 10. So what will happen basically is if you put multiple of these in the air, 
uh, people will spawn in random locations. And, um, like, if, if you spawn here, for example, there's a location right here that has a lot of loot in it. Um, if, I mean, if I was on a bigger map, it would matter a lot more, but... I mean, you can kind of reach every place on this map because it's so small. But if you're on a bigger map, then random spawns like this, like, give the player time to look at the map and where they want to go, okay? If you spawn people in the air, randomly, in the middle of the map, like this, then, um... First of all, you, you're going to have to have redeploy on, or you're going to have to start people with glider redeploys, which I don't like doing. And second of all, it doesn't give you any time to react. Look at how fast you fall. I mean, that, that's, that's, a, that's a lot. Um, what about from here? This is how fast you actually fall. Alright, say you're looking at the map. Oh, uh, I want to go here. Basically, right, if I had any location up there, I could not land there. Like, if I wanted to land here, I couldn't because I didn't get time to think. Which is why I prefer spawning like this, okay? Make your map how you want to make your map, but I like this better. And uh, it also spawns people away from each other, um, so you won't get pickaxe when you spawn. Trust me, I've had multiple ways of starting the game. I've had it so there's a big platform with like 20 spawn pads on it with multiple launch pads and um, it just it didn't work good. You can pickaxe people. The platform didn't explode so people would just camp up here for the whole game. It just it wasn't good. All right, Have spawns like this or do the other option which is spawn people in the middle but obviously I, I don't like that. All right, secondly, we're going to be um, looking at terrain, okay? Now, you can choose a map with a lot of terrain. I mean, this map has a decent amount of terrain on it. You can build, like, here, make a location. But if you want to have a great map, you need terrain. So I'm going to show you all the techniques to terrain. Terrain can block people's views. It'll make the match last longer because people will have a harder time looking for each other. I guess technically, not by a lot, but that's the thing. Terrain can be used to make a location seem more dramatic. It's all about presentation. Like if this was on this, if, if this tower right here was on this flat piece of ground right here with no terrain on it, it would look 10 times worse. Terrain is also useful for making your map more unique. Um, if you have just a flat grassy area, your map isn't going to be special. Um, you need you need terrain to make your map unique. Now, if anyone is starting out on creating a map, I actually don't suggest doing terrain because terrain is actually pretty complicated if you're just starting out, but I'm just I'm going to demonstrate how I would make something like this. So, let's let's add some terrain how about this? We just make a hill. Alright. So let's make a hill. Like this. Now, right off the bat, you don't want this. See? This is going to be super hard to make a map with because, like, it, it's just... You, you're not on a grid, basically. So, what I like to do is I like to go grid snap 4. And, uh, this is already rotated weird, so I'm going to delete it. Go grid snap 4, and then always make, like, the base, I guess, platform or main area of your terrain, uh, like, make it so you can build on it, right? So what you can do is you can place like that. See, if I were to build it from the height it is now, I wouldn't be able to build on it nice. See, it's kind of in the ground. So that lets me know I have to build it one lower. So, let's build out a platform, say, like this, all right? Say, like that. We'll have a, we'll have a little space, like, here. You can delete this, um, because th these pieces, um, unless you're using the, the ones on a grid, these don't break. The main galleries you're going to look for are the ones under... Uh, I think it's literally just, yeah, terrain. 
you're gonna want to look at you know this this all these you're gonna want to look at all those galleries with terrain and um the one i just used is the snow one and the the piece i have highlighted right now is the one i just used um stuff like i think if we go here stuff like this all right now see how this is automatically on a grid you don't want that this is this is bad you don't you don't want this um because then you you can't really adjust it you you know what you'll just see you can't adjust it to the point where um i don't know i don't i just don't like it okay see we have this tiny little platform here all right you can even build on it you can you can you can crank all you want all right you can you can build on it you can build on it just fine but it's kind of just like a platform right now so let's fix that you're gonna want to select one of these make sure you're still on grid snap four like this and you know you're just gonna want to copy and paste this around now when you go to a bend like that it's safe to do this all right don't be afraid of doing that um, it looks it literally looks just fine I did that a million times over there now when you're doing any of this and I mean like every single part you don't want to multi select there's only one moment where you can actually multi select and I'll, that'll be coming up now what a lot of people will think is like this see this bit sticking up that's that's so ugly all right but if we come over here that bit doesn't show up now why is that i found this trick on my own i don't know if this is like a well-known trick but while you're still on grid snap four this is the point where you multi-select all the ground pieces like this go up to it you cut it on the side apparently it's called cut you cut it like this right now that it looks even more out of line but this is the this is the trick you want to press grid snap one two three four times and you want to place it again so now you're on grid snap 32 and look at that the line is completely gone now if you're going to do one piece of terrain like that like a single piece you need to place a temporary piece next to it um, because this trick only works with multiple things selected at a time so I don't know why that is but it is all right now this looks a lot better if you do all of this manually but I don't feel like it basically what you just saw is I just took one of these pieces copy and paste it down one and another literally all I did but because I don't feel like doing it, I'm going to multi-select. Now, if you want the best results, do it all manually. But sometimes you make such big mountains and stuff that it's just not worth it. Um, I think I might be able to show you why I don't like multi-selecting it. Did it do the thing? Yeah, it did the thing. Right here. You get dumb lines like that, which... Personally, I don't care about, but if you want your map looking perfect, then I suggest you probably should fix it. But that's how I do terrain. Um, if you have a grassy area, um, say you're using the Grey Cliffs, right? And if you have a grassy area, um, the grass won't show up along the edges. Um... Like, it's kind of weird, right? So the grass will show up in all the middle area because those are actually the, gra the grass, like, uh, pieces, right? But this these terrain pieces won't show that. Um, and if you're making a Battle Royale map, this is very important to know, right? Because you want your map to look good. So what you do is you take the normal piece, you put it right here, and see how it kind of... It goes to the edge still. You want to do that. Now, some people might be screaming that if you go to the grass and dirt gallery, there's um, these. Like uh, this. There's this. Yeah, well, I already know about that. 
And the problem is, if I go on my inventory, split this, I can't pick it up while I'm on the grass. Look at, listen to this. I literally can't pick up the launch pad. I have to walk over it. Now, if that was a gun, you can't walk over guns to pick up to pick up the weapons. So, I'm basically screwed if I drop a gun on that, which I hate. So, which is why you have to use um the this one. You have to use this one. Now, placing down chests in ammo boxes is a very important thing. You don't want to put down floor loot because then it's just. It's that stupid to me. You know why? Because the floor loot is in the same exact place each time. Which sucks. You don't want that. Who wants that? I don't know. What Epic needs to add is a floor loot um, device. So you can set a certain radius on where floor root loot uh, can spawn. That would be incredible. But we don't have that right now. So just add chests. Now, you want to go here in the devices tab. You're going to want to search up chest and ammo gallery, right, like here. You're going to want to hit place now. And right here. You can, if you want, use these ones. I don't want to. This special chest right here always drops purple and gold stuff. So if you want a special chest on your map, then use that one. And then these two are the um, normal chests and ammos that we all know and love sometimes people overdo it and i've seen that in a few maps and you don't want that you don't want to you don't want a chest on every and every corner you want just enough so if if we really come out here and look we have one two three four five six chests really think to yourself how big your location is like, how big is this? I think this, for a map this size, that's a pretty that's a pretty damn big location. Now, I, I really don't like spamming ammo crates. What I usually do is add three-fourths the amount of ammo crates as I have chests, or about half. Um, three-fourths if you're feeling generous. So, we have two chests here. So, one right there. We have two chests here. So one right here. Now when you also make a map, you want to think of the like positioning of the locations. You don't want a location like smack dab right near another one. That's just, that's stupid, all right? All right, here we go. Here are the storm settings. Now, this is really for only ginormous maps like this. Like I think this is the biggest map you can have in the game. Storm controller, here we go. Now, I'm not going to be in depth with all this, but that's that's my storm controller. That's my phase 1. That's that's phase 3. I'm, oh my god, I'm stupid. Here we go. Here's phase 2. There you go. Where's my phase three? <laughs> Alright, here's phase three. That's phase two. Here's phase four. Pause the video if you need to. And here's phase five. So that is how you make a battle royale game. I just I see so many people posting about their their custom battle royales. I mean, yeah, but that's how you, that's how you make a battle royale.